while this isn't exactly how I wanted to start this video, but we have lost Wario, unfortunately. I had unpaused the game, and was getting ready to record, when all of a sudden he just died on us. I don't think he died from dehydration. Yeah, Wario was found dead. Well, he, he did die from dehydration. Whoops. Apparently I didn't have enough buckets or jugs made. I also don't have a water source. So it's unlikely that they would have been able to hydrate him with anything anyways. Because I don't believe that they will give wounded people alcohol. Which is fairly unfortunate for the wounded people. But we are now down one vault dweller. Which honestly shouldn't be that surprising again. Because... Uh, well, because we're all gonna die. There's a bunch of fire geckos outside. Let's see. Fire geckos are bipedal reptiles. At some point, they developed the ability to breathe fire. They have some unknown toxic substance in their guts which bursts into flames when it comes into contact with open air. Many travelers died after an encounter with these beasts. And I am pretty dang sure that we are going to die. Where are they at? Oh, never mind. They're down in the caverns. Okay. I feel a little bit safer. Not much, but just a little bit. Fire geckos outside would force me to lock down the fortress. Because um, right now I believe fire geckos could actually come through the doors there if they wanted to. It is kind of a cheap defense, I think just being able to lock your doors and most monsters and NPCs will not be able to, to break through your doorway there. Not nearly as good as a moat and a bridge, but it still works in a pinch. Um, Luigi, he's dizzy, he's unhappy. Um, 18 years old, almost everyone um, in the vault here is young. Wastelanders do not live that long. You're lucky to see somebody over 30 or 40. Not married to anybody, so why are you so unhappy? Lost a friend to tragedy. Talked with a friend. Uh, been annoyed by flies. Complained of chairs. Caught in the rain. And haunted by the dead. Yeah, we don't have any more ghosts floating around. Speaking of ghosts... I need to assign these last two coffins here. These last three, anyways. Because they, they'll be used. There'll be more ghosts popping up eventually if we don't have them. That's why I've got a bunch more coffins being made. Tables, chairs, and coffins. Tons of coffins. So, the dining hall area for now... We'll be in here. Put a chair there, table, table, chair. Wait, is that a table? Okay. Didn't know if I pressed the button right or wrong. Let's see. Also, let's get some nobles set up here. We got the librarian. Let's see. Yoshi? Not sure how much I trust Yoshi to be keeping our records, but whatever, we don't have a choice. Sabin, negotiator and appraiser, but Sabin is also the chief medical dwarf. So, Luigi, you get that job. The manager can also be Luigi. The executioner is going to be Sabin. He's going to suplex him into the next world here. I don't think we need to secure it well. No, no security chief for now. Actually, the celebrated boulders. Disband them. We will have a security chief. It will be Sabin as well. Here, you get into slot one. And there we go. The Entrancing Arches is the name of his squad. Damn it, I wish it would have been like, like suplexing trains or something. I like that you can't name your own squads, it is random, otherwise I would be forced to name it something dumb like that. Uh, do I have any doors? No. That will be next on 
the menu here. I'm gonna need a ton of those. Is that a... No, that's the Lord. For a second I thought he was floating outside the window. But I'm thinking about expanding... Um, I don't know if you guys can see my mouse pointer. Sometimes my mouse pointer just freezes in place in the videos, it seems like. Sometimes it's a little spinning circle. I, I don't know what to do about that. But, if you can see it, I'm thinking about expanding this out here and having a walkway and maybe actually flooring this entire area off and building bedrooms up here. Instead of digging down and building a vault, we'll just continue to expand this castle here. I'd like to avoid... Uh, digging everything underground, if at all possible. Obviously, it's much easier to dig. You know, legendary miners can mine out a square much faster than a dwarf can run 30 Z levels down, pick up a stone, and then bring it, you know, 50 Z levels up from there. Oh, what else do we need to build? We need nest boxes. You know what, I'm gonna need some more mason shops here. I'm just gonna keep them out here for... Wait, no. 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 Not gonna waste a log on this. We only have three logs left. I was not thinking that lumber was gonna be my problem here. In fact, we'll build another mason's shop there. A craftsman's shop. Let's get two of those. I'm also going to need a mechanics shop. We'll destroy these workshops later and spill their goods all over the courtyard here. And spend a season picking, picking that crap up. Um, I don't think we need a vir virology lab. Virology lab. We could set up the scrap yards. Where's that at? Did I already pass over that? Yeah, Scrapyard. Scrapyard's a pretty big workshop, and what it does is it takes stone and um, scrap that you can cut down from trees, and it has a chance of giving you blueprints and technology, things like that. Could have Scrapyard, let's see. Could have three Scrapyards up here. I'm not really sure why I would want my Scrapyards be up, the, up top there. You know, we'll put the scrapyards out here. And maybe the scrapyard will have its own rock quarry um, right underneath it somewhere. We'll dig a tunnel down and around through here. Okay, so we'll place this one there. We're going to have a lot of these things. They don't need to be lined up either. So we're going to fill in those gaps with um, probably lumber and things like that. Put that one there. It kind of spreads all over the place. This is a scrapyard. There's nothing pretty about it. Now, I it'll be a, quite a while before I'll be able to use this many. Let's see. Place. Some lumber. Stockpiles right there. And just get rid of pretty much all of that, because that's for, that was for uh, something, what, remains, I think, bodily remains. We'll just surround this place by a wall of lumber. Pretty sure the dwarves can still pass, or the, they're not dwarves. Pretty sure the vault dwellers can still pass through this. We'll leave that open, like there, just like that. <coughs> Now, the scrapyards require the skill trapping. And I believe I gave everybody trapping already. Yep, everybody already has it. Masonry. Let's see. I don't want this wave to really have to do any farming. Just going over my skills here. And dwarf therapist. I want to make sure everybody's set up. I am going to turn everybody into a doctor, though. I think first aid, emergency first aid here in the Wasteland, it's one of the most valuable skills that any of your vault dwellers can have. 
And while it is nice to have an extremely proficient doctor that takes care of almost everything, um, everybody should be able to stop bleeding because once shit does hit the fan, your doctors might not make it. And all that'll be left will be the, the children Doogie Housers running around. Ah, just another cloud of dust. At some point, I will probably start cutting out large sections of gameplay time, like I normally do in my fortresses. Because there, there will be large amounts of time where pretty much nothing goes on. Unless, unless I get extremely bored and just want to be a, a vault dweller paparazzi stalker and follow him around. Let's see, Mario. He's 21 years old. He's married to Peach. Okay. Um, extract Extractus is his god. Um, associated with freedom. You better have one with mushrooms. Associated with wealth, jewels, mountains, caverns, and earth. So, it's got coin. That's the wealth. Jewels, I don't know what that is. Mountains, I don't know. Caverns and earth, uh. Oh well. A couple friends. Who's married around here? Who else? Let's see. Yoshi, you're not married to anybody, are you? 19 years old. Yoshi and Sabin, okay. He worships Conchita Castuela Umperantaras, Imperanta Corona, Light. Uh, let's see. And is associated with discipline, laws, and oaths. So don't mess with Yoshi. And this one, Rapidus Sorolera, associated with marriage, birth, and youth. You're an egg-laying bastard, and also one of the reasons why I've capped the number of children in my fortress here. Yes, I will not be one of those fortresses that you hear about where they have 70 to 80 children running around. I've got, like, I think I have the baby limit the child limit maxed at 15. That's more than enough. Because they... N my fortresses never last long enough for them to actually grow up and to be, to be in anything useful. More doors there. Still waiting on those workshops. Okay. Let's see. What else can we do? First off, we can set this into a dining room and I'm, I'm gonna make it a throne study too for Sabin oh good lord Sabin wait Luigi he needs a meager office so Luigi the dining hall is also your office and yeah Luigi is happy Sabin needs a lot of stuff and he's the one who killed truth heavy trust the watchful aura of Glades the Wastelander. Well, what a name that is. Some of you said that that he would, that that NPC was never a bad guy. Didn't he help murderize the first batch of vault dwellers that arrived here? We got premium Bighorn or crap. I need to build some traps. We need to get my mechanisms, mech, me, my mechanizer mechanisms produced right there. That way we can get traps placed around and um, start capturing some of these bighorner that we can a eat, b breed, and ship off for more money. We could have ourselves a nice little cattle ranch here. Aha! Look at those scrap yards coming in. Good deal. There goes another one. Who's building that? It's Mario. And the last one, being built by Sabin, who does have a slight injury on his hand. Now, we're not going to use the scrap yards, scrap yards yet, either. Um, let's see. You can turn logs into coal, which is nice, but I'm... I'm not going to be doing any type of smelting anytime soon. We can prospect rocks. They grab ten rocks and search for technology and items. We can burn um, 
a coffer for fuel. I don't really want to do that. Do that. Um, yeah, you can scavenge scrap if we had any. We find that by chopping down trees. Occasionally, you find scrap piles, and you can find uh, various other things in it. You can burn beds and cremate body parts and vermin, which the cremating body parts and vermin will be extremely useful whenever I inevitably attempt an evil or terrifying or sinister biome. Or haunted or whatever it is. They're all evil. Yeah, we struck native silver. I gave the command to enlarge in this tunnel here. To widen it. Primarily because I wanted more rocks to be found. More rocks. More scrap. More doors and coffins. And, speaking of doors and coffins, let's get some of these coffins placed. Because it shouldn't be too much longer before we get more dead people. Probably right around the time the first migrants arrive. It's already late spring. So, if I'm not mistaken, they should be arriving fairly soon. You seem to get a lot more migrant waves in this version. And place the single tables here for the people who enjoy eating alone and staring at the wall. You gotta think about them too. Not everybody wants to have a partner sit across from them or to have an empty chair and remind them that they're eating alone across from them. Our dining hall aims to please the need of every vault dweller here. What am I forgetting? I'm still fairly rusty at Dwarf Fortress if you haven't figured it out yet. Hopefully some of these fortresses will be knocking that rust off. Before the big show, before the mine carts arrive. Oh yes, got plans for those. Everybody has plans for minecarts. And who couldn't, if you're reading the dev entries? Launching bucketfuls of axes and boulders. I wonder if you can launch corpses. I wonder if you can launch children. Baby, yeah, dead baby corpses. Load them up into the minecarts and then launch them at the wastelanders that are sieging our fortress or launch them at the super mutants maybe they'll feast and then leave we can broker a truce to the super mutants we will feed them 15 babies every season provided they just do not kick down our doors you know what we're gonna find out exactly what we can do with them uh, we've gotta find water at some point I think I'm going to continue to widen this hallway out. There's silver there. I will be doing exploratory mining. We're going to be digging long, straight, narrow tunnels, looking for various ores and scrap piles that we can harvest. At some point, um, we will be actually going down here and chopping down trees, because this piece, there's a scrap pile. Is this a scrap pile? Yeah, scrap piles have a distinctive look. And there is a lot of scrap down there. All that scrap is a decently good chance for a rare item. Blueprints, military crates, medical crates, things like that. The real meat and bones of the Wasteland mod here that I haven't had a chance to get into yet. Food, drink, seeds. We've got more than enough seeds. Oh, wait, I know what I need to do here. I need to change the settings. Yoshi, I want you to have high precision. Oh, and what does he need? I thought I gave him an office. Whose is this? That's Luigi's. Okay, well... Yoshi, you and Luigi can share that little office table right there. They go in there and do their paperwork out in front of the out in front of everybody. It's an open um, 
It's an open system that they've got here. The leaders don't try to hide anything. And there's Yoshi, updating the stockpile records. He's a competent fighter, an adequate mason, and he knows how to butcher things. Nineteen years old, and in love with Sabin, of course. If we had more logs, we could make them beds, start handing out bedrooms. How many beds? None. We have a total of none beds. That beautiful scrapyard. Just sitting there waiting. Hey, wait. This is full. What is that? Finished goods stockpile. Okay. Just gonna expand that there. The food stockpile. This whole tower here can be the food stockpile. And I think that that's good. Just keep the keep the vault dwellers busy. That's all you can do. I'm not gonna really. If I if I wanted to be, I could be really focused and not have them picking up every item and reshuffling <laughs> stockpiles for the second and third times. But <laughs> oh well. I think I'm sick. Maybe I need more tea. I think I'm losing my voice too. Oh, Luigi, what are you carrying? I have to know. Is it a sock? Mm. Yep. No, it's a glove. An exotic leather glove. We're gonna have plenty of items to barter away. Speaking of bartering... Trade Depot. Let's see. Bring them right back there for now. That's pretty close to the finished good stockpile there, which is where most of the stuff that we're going to be selling, selling is at. Shoes, socks, things coated in blood. That dwarf is real quick, or that vault dweller is. It's Mario. He's got super speed on right now, it looks like. I have to know, though. Let's see. Stats. Extremely agile and slow to tire. Well, there we go. Relaxed. Doesn't have great aesthetic sensitivity. Tends not to openly express emotions. What do you hate? Um, she prefers to consume mushroom tea and soybean oil. And hates cave moths. Okay. An astounding feel for the position of her own body. It's good to practice and know yourself. Get as close to the edge, Mario, as you as you have to go. You know one thing that we also need? We could probably be doing something with all of those corpses out there. Um I'll have the butcher shop right there. And with the butcher shop we also need tanner shop here. Otherwise all of your skins are going to go to waste. And actually, we also need a kitchen. In fact, two of them. Because if I'm not mistaken, that's to help render the fat. Now, I do give every one of my vault dwellers, the skill butcher butchery and tanning as well. Primarily because if it if there's an emergency where like we need to butcher Wait, wait, wait. Wait, oh, I was clicked out of my window. I couldn't pause it because I was clicked into War Fortress, but if there's ever <coughs> Oh hell with it. I just I forgot what I was talking about. Oh that's the problem with with me, actually. I get sidetracked. Holy crap. I just completely forget what I was talking about. I saw that there was combat going on and it just wiped my mind. So I thought for sure that somebody had pissed off a fire gecko. But no. It's a flock of about almost a dozen ravens. I wish our robo-brains would do something about them. 
Ravens will attack you, I think. Let's see. Sabin. What's he doing right now? He's constructing... You know what, Sabin? Somebody else can build that crap. You need to get out there and suplex a damn raven. It's unfortunate that he does not have any robots. Are they going to run from him? Yeah, they are. They're not going to stay and fight. He's throwing a tantrum, too. Now is not the time. Okay, you're off duty. Why is he so mad? Unhappy lately, he's complained about the draft. I slept in the grass. Lost a friend. Annoyed by flies. Talked with a friend. Haunted by the dead. Complained of the lack of chairs. Blah, blah, blah. The rain. You know, we have a couple fine doors around, though. And satisfied at work. 24 years old. And who is fighting? A buzzard. What? Oh man, that's right. Anything that steps into this room is pretty much dead because that's where the robots and the animals are going to stay for the rest of, rest of their days. Since that's where Wario died. And there's no way that I know of to remove ownership of a pet. Like, you can't make it unavailable once somebody has claimed it as a pet. Or once you assign it to somebody. There may be a way with dwarf hack, or DF hack, but I doubt it. Another buzzard tries to fly in and is completely eviscerated by our dog. You... Thieving buzzard bastards. And hey, a bunch of migrants have arrived. Okay, not a bunch. We're up to 13 now. We'll give them some skills. They can all have farming, though. Every single last one of them. Carpentry, yeah. Why not? We got one child in there. Great. Plant gathering, brewing, they can all have that. We don't need a fisher. I don't know who that is. Uh, you know what? We will have two gem cutters. Just set up a few other skills here. And I do have a list of names. I actually have a list of the very first 118 people. Um, from whenever I made my first list. So they will all be getting names here. Let's see. Pump operating. Well, not maybe not all of them. Because 118 people is a lot. And I'm kind of hoping that this fortress does not last that long. But it could. But it, hopefully it doesn't. Let's see, cooking. Give that to some people. Of course we need cheese makers. You have to have your cheese makers. Um, small animal dissecting too. I don't want any hunters just yet. There we go. Who was fighting? More buzzards? Wish they would cut that crap out. What do we have on the map? Bloat flies and buzzards. And the bloat flies are down there. Let's see. A thick and slimy fly often found near graveyards and refuse piles. It can spray potentially dangerous targets with a poisonous gas. Just leave them be. Um, that's my suggestion. I'm going to start naming some of these dwarves. I'll have to go through and give them their titles in-game, though. Okay. Might also send some of these people into the military. Just to beef that up. Not that they're going to have enough time to really train. Even multiple years isn't good enough training in this game. Because the people you're facing have normally pretty good weapons and armor. And several years of training. Okay, there we go. 
those people are named. Did anybody die in the screen? I wasn't actually looking at it. So let's see, who do we have? We have Nico Nuzzy here. We also have the old Juju dog, who should probably be our brewer, if I remember correctly. Jello Snark, who will be going into the military. Um, let's see. Riozel. You'll probably also go into the military. Neo Speedy. Maybe make you a doctor. Baba Ganabal. I don't know about you. Maybe you can be a new squad leader or something. I've heard that if you have multiple squads, <clears throat> but, um, make the squad smaller, only like three or four people in each squad, they'll have an easier time training than if you have a huge massive squad that has trouble getting people in the right place. I don't know how truthful that is. We don't really have any idlers, thankfully. I guess there's still a lot more to pick up out there. The finished goods stockpile is almost filled up again. I think that's still the only one, though. And somebody is getting their butt kicked. Another buzzard. Neo Speedy is... Just got his eyes pecked and attacked by multiple buzzards. What the hell? There they go. Wait, there is a buzzard. Oh, man. Jello Snark. Okay. It's... Hang on. Okay, we got to get more people in the military here. Jello Snark. You're in there. Ryozel, you're in the military. So that squad of three, they should be able to equip themselves with that, whatever, they, whatever they want. I can't talk tonight, apparently. Get the military up there. There we go. Get him. Kick its ass. Savin's got it in a chokehold and begins to slam it down on the ground. He suplexes that one. Pile drives this one. And that one is trapped behind the door. You know what? Go kill that bastard buzzard. Know what they think they're doing messing with our civilians. And a dust cloud. Which is not dangerous. Really. Maybe in like the heart of battle. Here, you guys can stand down. Like maybe if the dust cloud hits you in the middle of a middle of a fight and stuns and pisses off all of your vault dwellers while the enemy is just laughing about it. That might able to really ruin your day. I don't know what I'm going to do about these buzzards. These are not the buzzards, but those damn ravens there. Is there another buzzard? Bloatflies and ravens, okay. I don't have enough ammunition to you know, make archers and try to shoot these ravens down. How about if I make... Oh, man, I don't want to make that many people hunters. Jello Snark. Um, Riozel. You know what, even Sabin. Okay, they're all going to be hunters. I think that means that... First off, let's check the ammunition. The hunters have... We're going to give them 200 bolts, 200 pellets. They already have 28 bronze pellets. Which are probably the only ones I've got. The entering arches. And they can have bolts. Take that up to 200. And pellets. Take that up to 200. We don't have arrows, blow darts, or ammo. Pretty sure that's how you set that up. So yeah. Now they should have a little bit of ammo. However, they probably don't have a weapon to shoot any of it with, but they've got it. If they do decide to go hunting. Dig, dig, dig. Everybody's digging. I might have to expand this tunnel even more. In fact, let's go two more wide. 
still hunting for some delicious veins here. There we go. In fact, that's the exact size of the room above it now. Are those buzzards still assaulting us through here? No. She must have just been having a flashback. Um, okay. That's pet passable. You silly pets. How many more are trapped behind doors? Oh, man. I wish that I could reassign those people. Jello Snark is hunting, huh? He's hunting giant iguana. There he goes. He's just standing there hunting. Shooting it with pellets. The flying bronze pellet strikes it in the lower body. Tearing the muscle in the left kidney. Is he the only hunter? What? Neo Speedy is going to recover the wounded. What? Hmm. Well, where's the wounded? Master Azra, you are only a dabbling mason. It's because you're three years old, that's why. Hmm. Mother is a Baba Ganabal, and your father is Ryozal. You got a lot of family. Hmm. A lot of aunts and uncles and cousins. Well, good for you. Hopefully they come from a long-lasting and well-to-do vault. Nico Nuzzy, how did you get injured? I don't even see Nico Nuzzy on the combat log here, but somehow they've managed to get injured here. <clears throat> Let's find him. Is that to drink? Okay, he can't be hurt. He's already back up in an action. Never mind. Set all of these up. No, I must have accidentally unset that one. Well, oh, that's right. Now, now that we have so many people, I actually forgot about this. Okay, the Craftsman Workshop, let's see. Make it out of rock. Gonna make a bunch of jugs there. And at this one, a whole bunch of pots. Let's see, what else do we need here? Armor stands. Weapon racks. Cabinets. Dinettes. And coffers here. Make a whole bunch of those. That way we can start getting some of these bedrooms set up. Are they butchering stuff? They're tanning hides. No, don't suspend the construction. There's no reason to do that at all. I'm not going to start the scrapyard until we have more um, idlers up there. Once it gets to the point where we have like five or six or more idlers regularly, then I'll go ahead and start the scrap piles. Somebody fighting? Jello Snark is back out hunting. What weapon do you have? A pump action copper gun. It's got one kill under its name, a giant iguana. Well, Jello Snark, keep training because that's probably the only thing only thing that's gonna save his life. Whenever the time comes. Being quick on the draw here. And, are we completely out of ammunition now? That sucks, if it's true. Damn, we are. Um, I don't know how to make pellets. Prospect rocks. Here, we'll have one rock prospector constantly running. Even though it's not going to take long to use up all of the rocks that we've got here. Daisy is sleeping on the ground there. Uh, we have to find a way to get down here and get some of this wood, dang it. It's already midsummer, so if we can hold out until the merchants arrive, 
I'm almost positive that the merchants will bring a ton of wood and cloth on their first time around, and I would rather not try to breach into the underground just yet um, and give them away up here, even for a split second. Because I know that as soon as I do breach into the underground and have it connect to a piece of land, that's when the the nightmarish hell monsters that Dion has created will just charge into my fortress from the shadows. I have no idea what he's put down there. I've heard rumors of horrible, terrible things, but I don't know if there's actually any weight to them. Who's running around looking all sad here? Is that Sabin still? Yeah, he's not happy. Yoshi, he's our current rock prospector. Our scrap yardist. Three idlers. Two idlers. Now what does idler mean? It, okay, it means no job. I didn't know if that also could mean that they were eating or sleeping or something like that. Um... No, I don't want I don't want to have too many more prospectors just yet. Cuz we still we still need those rocks in order to make doors and things like that. In fact, what else can we build here? A well, a bridge, dirt road, traps. Where's my Aha. That's what I need. I need a whole bunch of rock mechanisms because we're going to just sprinkle traps over the countryside here. I mean, look at all this wildlife out there. Iguanas, glowing iguanas, salamanders. What? How did Mario get injured? What? Mario? Are you faking here? You must be. Let's see, quite content, admired a fine door, slept in the grass, gave somebody food, talked with a lover, lost a friend. Well, how are you hurt? Apparently, she was just too thirsty. She had a case of the cotton mouth and really needed a drink, and that was a big enough injury. Okay, dog. Um, whoops. Now open there. I think I set it to internal for a second. Not necessarily a bad thing. I doubt those doors will be used very much. There's the friendly lord. I would almost bet that he'll be the first one to die in a siege. I don't know if the siegers will be friendly or not. But if they run around the back there while he's in front of the fortification, they will just unload on him. Hmm. Okay. Had to make sure that those doors right there were pet passable. Apparently I had switched to them to be pet passable in the first video. Next up... What's a nesting box? How do I make that? No. Oh wait, nesting boxes are made... Aha, uh -huh, under the craftsman workshop, that's right. Make a whole bunch of those. And we have to put those in the same pasture as the iguanas that we've got. And they will hopefully breed in them. Also, let's see... How do I make this a pasture. There we go. However, I want to remove some of this. Because they, they can't eat, you know, cement here. And I don't know if the game's smart enough to figure out that there's cement here. Cement. <laughs> cement. But I don't know if that there's if the game will figure that out or if it'll try to actually make the iguanas and animals path onto this stuff here. There we go. 
go. Okay. Wait. Let me just nip this corner too, because I don't want them going and standing outside the wall and being killed when a siege shows up. Like this corner here, they might actually try to stand out there. That would not be good. Okay, so that one is set up. Now, how do I... Um, there we go. Move all of the iguanas back there. But that one... I want the iguanas to be switched down down there because we're going to have the nesting boxes kind of out of the way, stuck in a corner along a wall instead of having them out in the open here. I think that they I think that they can be um, walked over, that they're not a solid object like a wall, but I could be wrong. And I don't want anything that'll break up the pathing if it doesn't have to. So we've got Iguana Ranch here, scrapyard here. We need a, we need an expanded area um, for our bighorner. What is going on here? Is this person dead? No. That's Babagan Bull. Babanaganambagol. Apparently, huh. just a strange icon. I thought it was his death icon. But he fell asleep working. What was he doing? was he must have been rendering fat or something I'm not even gonna bother wasting food cooking lavish meals yet or easy meals or anything like that holy crap feral dogs okay um, now the feral dogs they will eat you it will charge after you and destroy you. It will outnumber you and eat your vault dwellers. Oh, we got a thief there. Crap. An enclave thief member. He's got an iron ripper. No! You fool, Riozel. It's not worth it. He does have a cobalt crowbar, though. But, he's also going up against a ripper. Wow. He just pummeled that Enclave member to death. Let's see, there's his Iron Ripper. Let's claim that. Claim all of that stuff, too. That was nice. I was scared. I still, whenever I hear Enclave, I still get worried. How did he die? Got hit in the skull with a crowbar. Delicious brains. And here come the feral dogs. Crap. Are we surrounded? No. There's a guard dog. Riozel charges forward. And let me get my combat log here. Let's see. Riozel? Good luck, lad. Riozel headbutts the feral dog in the left front paw, bruising the muscle. The feral dog bites Riozel in the right foot, tearing the muscle. It latches on. The other one bites him in the right hand, bruising the muscle, and it latches on. So they both got him pinned and bit there. Crap. Get down there and help. Help him, you guys. Riozel spins around and flings a dog off. It rolls through the dirt. The other one bites him in the ankle. Um, let's see. He whacks one in the head with his cobalt crowbar, and it lodges firmly in the wound. wound. Riozel punches one in the left front leg turning around and then kicks it in the upper body, bruising the muscle. Riozel bends its leg backwards, snapping a... Ooh, wow. Shattering the right front knee bone, the dog yelps in pain and releases its grip on him. Jello Snark hits it full speed, hits the one from behind that was getting ready to latch onto his leg. And they strike both of them down. Good deal. That's how you have to handle a pack of wild dogs there. Are they chasing somebody? Do I have a vault dweller out there? No. I don't really trust the feral dogs. Um, 
Actually, also, we're going to give a kill command for that dog. Just try to pick him apart, guys. Before they do the same to us. So that dog is struck down. What about you? Come here, feral dog. Don't you want to fight? Apparently not. Okay, cancel that. I don't want you guys running too far away. Back to the front door. And they take off after that dog, and wow. Jello Snark hits him at full speed, and the dog rips in half. He put his shoulder into it, and that dog is going to be dealt with. Ryozo kicks the feral dog in the head, bruising the muscle and bruising the skull. The dog is stunned, and then Jello Snark comes in and rips its throat out. Good job, guys. Actually, it looks like Savin got the last blow. Savin has a bronze sledgehammer. Damn. And we've got a super mutant. Thief right there. He's got an iron ripper, giant spider silk bag, large cobalt mask. That would be nice if we could wear large stuff. Ah, oh, you fools. Don't give chase to thieves. This could end poorly. Well, Ryozel has a quick snack on the feral dog there. While Sabin gives chase. Ugh. Ryozel strikes down the other dog and Sabin is on his own. Oh no! Master Azra! No wonder Sabin was chasing so long and hard. Ugh. Well, farewell, Master Azra. Hopefully you don't become super mutant food. Maybe they'll train you and culture you in their ways. Give you a nice fat dip. Uh, Welp. That's one way to get rid of children from your fortress. Hmm. Who are we missing here? We're missing somebody. We're missing Riozel. He's resting. Don't tell me he's wounded. He's unconscious. He's got one notable kill, one notable kill, and five others. No health problems. His right lower arm is bit open a little bit from those dogs. Mario steps forward and begins to dress the wound. Clearing out all the debris, the dirt and sand that had gotten lodged in it from rolling around in the fight. And what's going on? Oh, we need empty buckets. Okay, nest boxes. I want... More jugs and more pots. I think jugs and pots are the equivalent of bins and barrels. But I could be mistaken. I could be. I don't know exactly how to use them. It's probably something that I should wiki up as well. Like I don't know if you actually set them in the stockpile. Max bin. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? I know that there's only one feral dog left. And it's unlikely that he's going to mess with us. Oh, man. Come on, guys. What are all my buckets doing? Buckets, buckets, buckets. Liquids. I don't have any liquid in any buckets. Do buckets even show up on this screen? Okay, they do. I don't have any buckets. What the what the hell? Um, I thought that I had made a bucket or two. Well, I'm gonna make two more buckets right there and use two oh, logs that I can't really afford. Also, I'm gonna give a command to chop down every single tree and scrap pile on the map here. Because I I have been eyeballing a few of those scrap piles. There we go. That one is about ready to be harvested. Oh, no water source. Baba Ganabal is going to go dig through that scrap pile. And hey, Autumn is here. And hey, a tree is going to be cut down there by Mario. Mario is everywhere it would seem like taking care of people hauling items around jello snark 
and seven. You know what? Let's go ahead and send out a kill command. Kill the feral dog. Just get him off the map. A stray Brahmin calf. What? Hang on. Um, two robo brains. Iguana. There we go. Okay, what happens if I do put the the robo brains on the pin there? Will they actually leave that bed and go guard the courtyard instead? That would be useful. And there we go. Stabin's having a one on one with that feral dog. Until Jello Snark shows up, he bashes the feral dog in the right front leg with his bronze club, bruising the muscle. Okay, so they both have weapons at least. That's a vast improvement from my normal groups. Yes! Puppies. In another year or two. Oh, n another pack of feral dogs. In another year or two, those puppies can be trained. Okay, so the fight is on. Jello Snark bashes the feral dog in the right rear leg with a bronze club, bruising the muscle. The feral dog pushes Sab in the, in the left breast, but it's deflected by his bronze combat armor. Sabin enters a trance and begins ripping the dogs limb from limb, bashing them into little disgusting jello or puppy dog ketchup pieces with his sledgehammer. And actually, I want you guys to move right there. Get in my controls here. Move. Move over here. Right there. No, don't. No, not up to the door. Wait. What did I. Where, what did I do? Oh god, this is what I was afraid of. Um, okay. Thankfully, Baba is not hurt. There's Juju Dog. He is taking that stray calf, that sacrifice back there. And the feral... Did I tell that group to stand down or something? What, what the hell did I do? Where did they go? They have let us down. Robo Brains, get out there and save us, please. Oh my goodness. Okay, the feral dog is chasing Yoshi. Yoshi's been interrupted. What if I give a kill command? Someone kill that dog quickly? Is it dead? Where did it go? Can't tell because of the dust storm. Baba is trying his hardest to harvest that scrap pile. Oh, Baba, you better run. If that dog catches up to you, I think I did something to that group. To the military group. Baba, you're gonna get it one of these days. Either the scrap or the dog. Okay, so he got the scrap pile. We're bringing that in, thankfully. I still don't know where this stupid group is. Sabin? Let's see. Rest, rest, rest. They're all resting. Wow. Wow. Suck it up, you big babies. It's just a little flesh wound. Ability to grasp is somewhat impaired. Motor nerve damage, really? They were just dogs. They were just dogs. And Jello Snark is just thirsty. Giant rats. Great. Um, I'm going to keep this tightly closed. Is that going to do anything? Maybe it'll keep these rats out. Look at them. They come straight to our door. Huh. I don't see any of our... Never mind. Baba's out there. Baba and Mario. And there's Sabin. Hungry, dehydrated, very unhappy. Is Are you going to be able to kill a rat? Yes. Wow. What is that? A bunch of its teeth. Just got punched out. Oh, boy. Baba, or Mario, is so tired he saw the rats and he fainted. He is unconscious right there. This is... 
a disaster. A fairly big disaster. Um, thankfully, no one's died yet. Okay, the Robo Brains. Now we're going to take them off. I wanted to see if that would maybe make them roam free again. Or no, it does not. They just want to go back there. Oh, 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 come on. Mario's getting beat up by a rat. There's Jello Snark. He shows up. And he starts taking it to the rat, but Mario got all bit up there. Health. Thankfully, it didn't damage any sensory nerves or anything like that. Jello Snark. Can you please kill that rat, too? These things are annoying. And we still have three feral dogs out there. And. Jello Snark wants to kill that one. That feral dog, apparently, instead. This video might drag on for a little bit more. Get him, Jello Snark. He slams the rat into the wall, but it squeezes between his legs and runs away. It might be a lot quicker than he is, unfortunately. Oh, and I was worried about this. The forgotten beast Gratus has come. A great hairy leech. It has thin wings of stretched skin, and it has a long, bloated body. Its cinnamon hair is long and shaggy, and beware of its deadly dust. Well, with any luck, maybe it won't be able to fly up the stairwell here. If it does, this video is uh, going to be ending shortly. I could be a jerk and say, hey, I'll see you in the next video. But I won't. Jello Snark, where are you fighting at? Right there. How badly are you hurt? Just thirsty. Okay. You gotta move yourself back to the doorway here. I know it's tough. But you're gonna have to soldier on. Because no one else is gonna help you. Wait, is that Sabin? He's starving. Eat some food then. We have plenty of meat. No one should be dehydrated. Or starving here. Oh, another feral dog? Jello Snark gets some more combat experience. Gonna have to check his kills here in a minute. And he hits it with his bronze club right in the back, shattering it and snapping it in two. He's got 11 kills so far. Pretty amazing. You're getting up there. Been quite content. Took joy in slaughter, of course. Your wife is Ferum Oleksiposomixkinsness. You're 49 years old. Holy crap. That is ancient by Wasteland standards. Um, that's pretty nice, then. Maybe you should be leading this squad. Thankfully, we have two people on duty. I don't really have any Wastelanders to spare. Otherwise, I would put more in, in service. Oh, what do we have here? Gratis and that's it. And thankfully, he's not going to be able to get at, get at us. So, I think I'm going to actually, I will end the video here now. <sighs> We're having, let's see. We had another big horner born to us. We've got more puppies. Thankfully, that'll mean more guard dogs in another year or two. And whenever we come back, we will try to make our way through autumn and possibly winter. We should be getting another batch of migrants before too much longer. It'll probably be a fairly large one. And the merchants will be arriving, which will mean we can pawn off uh, a bunch of this junk that we've got and hopefully trade it for armor, ammo, weapons, uh, things that we can actually use. But who knows? Maybe they'll just bring us wooden cloth.